Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. Welcome back. Let's see. I'm going to share with you today the PPT, the PPT for today's class. All right. So let's see how many students do we have. Hi, Carla. How are you? See? Hi, teacher. Good afternoon, Carlita. Welcome back. How are you, Emperatriz? Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thanks, God. How about you? Uh, I, I am sleepy. Uh, I am sleepy. You're right. Hey, drink coffee. <laughs> yes. No sé por qué. Justo después del almuerzo da sueño, right? Yes. <laughs> so funny. All right, girls, welcome back to your English class. Let's get started. Let's see. Today we're going to start with section four, right? So I hope that by now you already finished section three completely. And also you already finished the midterm exam, all right? So that you can have the 100% that you need to pass, right? So the topic for section four is, did you have fun? We're going to see a lot of information about simple present, but we're going to be a step by step, right? We're not going that fast. We're going to be a step by step. We are in class number nine. Let's move on. Do you remember, as per usual, we're going to have these questions. Today, I only have three questions, three easy peasy questions, right? Let's see. Which are the two questions that we use to ask for directions? Let's see. Any of you remember? Which are the two questions that we use to ask for directions? ¿Cuáles son las dos preguntas que utilizamos para preguntar por direcciones o pedir direcciones? Let's see. Let's see, Emperatriz, tell me. At least one, al menos una de las preguntas, porque solo teníamos dos. One. Okay. okay. <laughs> One moment, please. Yeah, One sure. Uh, is, how do you get? Uh -huh. uh, how can I get? Okay. How can I get or how do I get, right? Yes. Exactly. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Beatriz. Excellent. You're welcome. Let me go with number two mention at least three answers that we can use to give directions, right? ¿Se recuerdan que en una paginita como blanca que teníamos pegada aquí en, un, en una image tenían las questions y abajo las answers, right? Entonces eso es lo que quiero saber, que me digan three, at least three, al menos tres. Let's see, María Sigüenza. Las direcciones, teacher. Ajá, three answers. Para contestar, si alguien le pregunta, how, how can I get to, or how do I, uh, how can I get to, or how do I get to? ¿Qué respuestas podemos utilizar, Mary, de las que estuvieron uh -huh. practicando antier y ayer? Walk up, go up, uh -huh. to left uh -huh. on, to right off, go down, on the right, on the left. That's correct, excellent, very, very good. ¿Por qué les estoy preguntando esto de nuevo? Si ustedes recuerdan, en el video decía, memorized, memorized. As I told you before, I know it's hard. It's not that simple, like, yeah, I'm gonna memorize them, <laughs> right? But you have to push yourself. And something that it might help you as well, it's 
working on these questions, right? So let's see, thank you, Mary. Let's go with number three. Mention the prepositions of place. Let's see, Natalia. Mention the prepositions of place. Hi, good after. Good, good after. after. <laughs> okay, uh, preposition. Um, turn left on, turn right on, um, go down. Right, excellent. Eso sería para las dos, para la número dos, right? Give directions, para dar direcciones. Pero las prepositions, Natalia, como on. Next to. Ah, there you go, excellent. Next to, what else? Karen? <laughs> Next, uh -huh. under. Don't worry, aquí todas pueden participar. <laughs> Between. Between, there you go. On the corner. Mm -hmm. On the corner of. In. On the corner of, across front. Center. Behind. Excellent, there you go. Now you see, ¿por qué les hago estas dos preguntas? Ayer les mencionaba que tenemos que aprender a diferenciar entre dónde está localizado un lugar, para lo cual se utilizan las prepositions of place, y también cómo dar direcciones, right? Which is totally different. So very good, girls. Excellent. Me gusta porque sé que tienen sus apuntes y de ahí se pueden basar y no hay ningún problema, right? Solo, siempre recordándoles que es bueno hacer un review. Cuando ustedes tengan un tiempito, yo sé que trabajan, pasan ocupadas, pero cuando tengan un, un tiempito, pueden hacer un review para que siempre la mantengamos in here. All right? Excellent. Thank you so much. Now let's move on to this one. Esta fue la que vi que quizás nos costó un poquito más. So let's practice briefly. All right? Brevemente vamos a practicar con eso. Let me see, Karen, tell me. No, let, Karen Martinez. Déjenme ver que alguien me escribió que no iba a poder participar. Ah, okay. So, Karen Martinez, can you please tell me the two questions that we have? Yo le escribí mis en el grupo. Ah, yes. Estoy ah, manejando. Ah, ok, ok, Karen. Ah, pues dos escribieron, una, una me escribió aparte y otra me escribió en el grupo. Ok, excellent, very good, Karen. No se preocupe, entonces ya lo tengo en, tu, en cuenta. So, let me go with Vanessa Leiva. Vanessa, can you please tell me the questions? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. Um, how do I get to? Mm -hmm. um, how can I get to? That's correct. Excellent. And then when it says place, you just add the place, right? Thank you. Let me go with Jenny Romero. Jenny, tell me the answers, please. The directions. Walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, um, turn right on, um, on the right, on the left. That's correct, honey. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Isis Reyes. Isis, your turn. Tell me the answers. Okay. Walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, and on the left. That's correct. Excellent, Isis. Thank you. All right. Let me go with... Those were the only ones that I was missing for participation. All right. Don't forget, I uh, just wanted to tell you something. In this word, we don't pronounce the L, right? Así es como ellos lo hacen, la gramática de ellos, ellos no pronuncian la L, they only say walk up. Lo mismo para la palabra always, si ustedes se fijan se escribe always, right? Pero no se pronuncia así, se pronuncia always, always. Y en este caso solo es walk up, walk up, walk down, right? Lo cual es más fácil porque si ustedes se ponen a practicar tratar de decir la L, it's difficult, right? So it's easier just saying walk up and walk down. All right, girls, thank you so much. Let's move on. Now, this reading, 
yesterday I only asked some of you to read this information for me, but now I need some other people to practice with this. Let me have Maria Siguenza, please, number one. Your microphone. <laughs> your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue between 30 and 34th Street. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102 second floor, Great View of New York City. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Emperatriz, number two. Number two, okay. Now walk up Fifth Avenue, seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 14th. 40? Uh, 40, uh, 42nd Street. This library, library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bright Park. In the summer, there's an um, outdoor coffee um, at lunch hour. There are three music concerts. Excellent. Thank you, Emperatriz. Now, in this You're case, <laughs> thank you. In this case, it's outdoor cafe, all right? It's different. They, they call okay. it outdoor, outdoor cafe. Porque no estamos hablando es de la español. bebida. Ajá, exactly. No estamos hablando okay. de la bebida. De esta, ellos están hablando de, del lugar. El lugar. Ajá, exactly. Thank They you. Outdoor cafe. Excellent. Thank you, honey. Let me go with Jenny Romero, number three, please. Walk up uh, 6th Avenue to uh, four ninth strip you are standing in the middle of the nineteen building of Rockefeller Center terrain of a uh, 49 strip uh, walk on another block and turn left you you're in Rockefeller Plaza in the winter you can ice skate in the Rink three. Rink there. Thank you. Thank there, you. There. Excellent. All right. Now, these types of readings are important for you to practice not only your reading, but also your vocabulary and especially given directions, right? If you notice in here, they, they are giving more than one direction, right? They say turn right, and then go to turn left, and then you will see. Na, na, na. They are giving a lot of directions just to get to a, a specific point. All right. And let's go with the last one Karen Heyman, please. Number four. Okay. Freeze Freak across from Rocker for Center on Fifth Avenue is. St. Patrick Cathedral, it's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany, going St. Patrick and left the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Uh, many of this window come from France. Excellent, thank you, honey. All right, everyone, there you go. Thank you so much for your reading. I was just checking how are we doing, if we have any issues so that I can help you, but I see that we are pretty good. Now, as we already finished the whole section three, maybe it's going to be really important for you to practice with the use of going to. Because as far as I remember, you studied that like in section two or three, I think, so, right? The beginning of section three. So I will let you these sentences, right? Work on them. Let me see. You can work from one to 
to 10 if you want, okay? Solo number seven, we don't have number seven. Solo van a trabajar from one to 10, all right? Please, on your notebooks. You are going to use the structure going to, all right? Future with going to. Ay, let me explain you in here. Vamos a trabajar con el going to. Se recuerda que hace una sección, creo, más o menos, vimos el uso del going to, right? El futuro con el going to. Entonces, ustedes, estas oraciones no están ordenadas. Lo que ustedes van a hacer es ordenarlas, pero le van a agregar el going to, donde debe de ir. Right? Thank you. You're welcome. En algunas de estas sentencias ya les dan de un solo el subject para que vayan tomando el hilo de, de la estructura, right? Ya en las otras sí les dan el subject, pero desordenado, no se los dan ya ordenado. Así que les aviso porque es tricky. <ríe> Good afternoon, teacher. Um, what are they doing? Yes, Anita. Good afternoon. Welcome back. Bye, Anita. Estamos haciendo un review del uso del going to, right? Se recuerda que hace unas clasecitas vimos el going to. El future with going yes. to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces, estas sentences que está aquí, estamos trabajando desde la 1 hasta la 10, right? Y están en desorden. El propósito de eso es para que ustedes las pongan en order, util, in order utilizando el going. To. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Si necesitan ayuda, me avisan. All right. Teacher. Yes. The number seven, uh, no se ve. No, number seven no la van a hacer, all right? Oh, okay. okay. Yes.
Good afternoon, Gloria. Ok, Gloria, let me explain you. Le voy a explicar qué estamos haciendo ahorita. Si usted recuerda, hace algunas clases vimos el uso del going to, right? Entonces estamos teniendo un review para que no se nos olvide muy rápido, right? Entonces tenemos aquí estas oraciones, no están en orden, están desordenadas. Y lo que usted va a hacer es encargarse de ponerlas en orden utilizando el going to, el future. I finish. Excellent. Thank finish. you, Beatriz. Who else has finished? ¿Quién más ¿Tarta? tenía? Ah, pues sí, bebé. Y comieron, bebé. <laughs> ya fue la mía, Mari. Let me see. Somebody has the microphone open. Sí. Hola, ya. Ay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Anita. It's good. Está asumiendo todos los roles en este momento. Ah, uh, exactly. <laughs> That's so cool. Ya veo que todas son bien activas, right? Esta es una cosa, está buena. It's excellent. Bien empoderadas. <laughs> All right. You, you spend a lot of time doing different things, I understand. <laughs> Cosas de adultos. <laughs> exactly. You're right. All right. Excellent. Duele um, crecer. <laughs> Don't tell me about it. Yo poniendo 20 en el cake siempre. <laughs> Para que nadie crea. <laughs> All right. Yo enta. <laughs> exactly. Así me dice mi mami. Eh, ella tiene 60, right? Y me dice, no, yo 30 tengo todavía. Y yo 30 más, mami. <laughs> All right. Ay, no, hay que ser realistas, ni modo. <laughs> Multiplicado. <Okay>. Por <laughs> Yeah, it's true. All right, let me see. What about lady? You finished, lady? Yes. Yes, excellent. And also finished, teacher. 
Very good, Anita. Thank you. Let me see. Somebody else who has finished? Que me dicen para comenzar el sharing. Y si no le damos copia. Right? Finish, teacher. Very good, very good. Excellent, Mary. Okay, vamos a dar un, one more minute and we start, okay? Un minuto más y comenzamos. Okay, let's get started. So number one, it says Henry is going to play football, right? Good for Henry. Let's go with number two. Let me see. What do you have, Karen Heyman? Let's see. What do you have in number two? And Henry is going to kick ah, no, no. perdón ya me perdí <laughs> number two a score ah, sí. Henry is going to score some goal, goals excellent goals very good right let me see well we already have Henry in here he's going to There you go, goals. Por si creíamos que goals era solo con no, no, right? It's goals. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go with number three. Let me have. Anita, Anita, tell me number three. Okay. Harry is going to get the ball. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Kick the ball. All right. Let's go with the following. Number four. Let me see. Maria Siwenza. Teacher, yo ahí la hice así. His parents are going to see the match. That's correct, very good. Ahí estaba lo tricky, right? Que se nos puede olvidar si era is o are. Pero usted sí lo recordó. Excellent. Are going to match. No, are going to see the match. I'm sorry. There you go. That's correct. Let's go with the following. Number five, lady. How is going to do? Sorry. Don't worry. How is going to do snow jumping? All right, excellent. How is going to do a snow jumping? All right. This is really dangerous. I don't know what he's planning, but he's doing it. All right, it's going to do a snow jumping. Excellent. Let's go with number six. Let me see. Natalia Guevara. Yes, miss. Tell me number six, please. Um, okay, the rabbit is going to jump very fast. Exactly, that's correct. The rabbit is going to jump. No, it's it, I eat. No, in this case, is only is. Porque ya tiene usted aquí su subject, right? Si usted me pone lit, lo está repitiendo. Right? Y si se acuerda la estructura, solo nos dice subject plus verb to be plus going to. And the rest. 
Ay. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with number eight. Vanessa Leiva, what do you have in number eight? Uh, number eight, Tom is going to play golf with his father. He's going to play uh -huh, golf with his father. Excellent. Thank you, Vanesita. Las voy anotando aquí para que vayan chequeando ustedes si así las tienen, All right? Let me see, me llegó un mensaje. Excellent, Karen, very good. Let me see. Ah, pues. Karen Martínez, if you want, you can tell me number nine. Joe is going to sail in the light. Uh -huh, he's going to sail. Sail is navigant. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Going to lake. Lake. Uh -huh. Very good. Yeah. It's going to sail in the lake. That's correct. Very good. Let's go with number 10. I told you to get over 10, right? That was almost the last one. Let me see, Gloria Mena, what do you have for number 10? Let's see. Ah, no, you told me you can't, I'm sorry. Let me see, Emperatriz, number 10. Okay, number 10. John is going, ah, sorry. Willie is going to swim in the pool. Exactly, that's correct, swim in the pool. Right, very good. Now, listen, girls. Asumo que llegaron hasta la 10, right? Porque yo les dije que llegamos hasta la 10. Ahora me ayudan a hacer las demás. Let's see. Ustedes pueden voluntariarse, right? Decirme, Miss, I will say number, number 11, right? Okay, excellent. Karen, tell me number 11. Marta is going to peel an orange. Excellent, very good, thank you. Me number 12. Okay, excellent, tell me. And Gloria is going to phone uh, her friend. Excellent, very good. All right, listen, in this case, phone is the same thing as call, right? Solo que ellos lo cortan y dicen phone her friend. En vez de decir, eh, Gloria is going to call her friend, she's going to, fall, she's going to phone her friend. All right. There you go. Thank you, Anita. And number 13. Any volunteer for number 13? Me. Excellent. Tell me. Margaret is going to open the present. That's correct. Margaret. Very good. All right, girls, there you go. Excellent, very good. Good practice. This is for you just to remember, to recall, right? I know you understand clearly this topic, but this is for you to practice mentally, right? Excellent, very good. Now let's move on to the next one. With this, let's get started with section four. Top eight things people hate to do. <laughs> you know what hate is, right? So let's see. Hate is odiar, right? Odiar. So let's see. Hate. Por eso dice 10, el top 10 de cosas que las personas odian hacer. All right. So let's see. We have number one. Stand in line, all right? You go to a supermarket. If you go to Simon and you have to wait outside. All right. So. <laughs> it's true, it's true. En el de la Gran Vía, 
hacen unas grandes filas para entrar, all right? And you have to stand in line. Then number two, do laundry, all right? Do laundry. Number three, travel to work, travel to work. Number four, go to meetings, go to meetings, all right? Este travel to work es, aquí lo ponen como en un busito, right? Como en un bus o en un, ten, en un tren, pero también aplica si va en carro. Go to meetings, number six, exercise. I don't know how some people can hate doing exercise, right? I mean, I don't like it, but I do it. <laughs> All right, and then you go with number six, work in the yard. Right? So let's see, number seven, clean the house. And number eight, open the mail, open the mail. What are we going to do next? We are going to watch the video. Vamos a ver el video. Escuchemos bien esa pronunciación y después les voy a poner a ustedes a que me digan este vocabulary. All right? Let me stop sharing. Let me go to the platform. And let's see. Okay, vocabulary, top eight things, people. Aquí dice have to do, pero es hate to do, all right? Que odian hacer. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, Travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so basically that's what we're going to do today, right? For you, after finishing the class, you can complete that activity. So let's see, let me ask you girls this vocabulary, right? I know it, it looks or it sounds easy for some of you, but we still have to practice. Let me start with Natalia Guevara. Natalia, please tell me the top eight things people hate to do. Okay, uh, one, stand in line, two, do laundry, Three, private to work. Four, go to meeting. Five, exercise. Uh, six, work in the yard. Uh, seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. Excellent, very good, Natalia. Let me go with Jenny Romero. Let's see, Jenny, tell me the vocabulary. A standing line do laundry, travel to work, go to meeting, exercise, work in the job, clean the house, open the mail. That's correct, thank you girl. Lady Ventura, please tell me the vocabulary. Number one, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the jar. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. That's correct, excellent, thank you. Let's go with Isis Reyes. Tell me the vocabulary. One, stand in line. Two, to laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to the meetings. Six, exercise. Perdón, five, exercise, uh, six, 
work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. That's correct, excellent, thank you. Ana Rivas, your turn. Okay, number one, stand in line. Uh, two, don't laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meeting. Five, exercise. Six, work in the chair. Seven, clean the house. E A, open the mail. That's correct, thank you. Let's go with Karen Martinez and after Karen, Maria Siguenza. Okay, stand in line, do hungry, travel to work, go to meeting, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, open the mail. That's correct, thank you. Stand in Stand in line, do laundry, travel to work, go to meeting, exercise, or in the yard, clean the house, open the mail. Excellent, thank you. Now you see it was easy peasy. <laughs> Let me go with, cuando digo easy peasy, my dear students, all right, es que significa fácil, right? Facilito, right? Como decir a piece of cake, es lo mismo. All right, let me go with Karen Heyman, your turn. Number one, standing line. Number two, uh, do laundry. Number three, travel to work. Number four, go to meeting. Number five, ex exercise. Number six, work into yards. Number seven, clean the house. Number eight, open the mail. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Emperatriz. I think you're the last one, Emperatriz. Hello? Are you there, Emperatriz? Maybe she's busy. Let's go with Gloria Mena. Ah, okay, okay. Sí, me imagino okay. que estaba busy. Okay, okay. I, I come back. <laughs> okay, excellent. Tell me, please, the top eight. Well, stand in line. Two, to laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the chart. Seven, clean the house. And A, open the mail. Excellent. Thank you, Imperatriz. And sorry if I interrupt you, right? Disculpa si le interrumpí. Okay. Let's continue. Let's see what else do we have in here, all right? Let's check this guiding examples, all right? Es usual, ustedes saben que es usual que yo ponga aquí unos guiding examples para que nos podamos guiar al momento de la práctica de ustedes, all right? Y no nos perdamos. Let's see. Tenemos number one. Let's see. Gloria Mena, can you please read number one? Me. Sí, yes. sir, I'm sorry. Eh, I, ya estoy en el trabajo. Gracias a Dios. I have winning example. I have to stand in light outside, outside the supermarket to buy food. I had it. Excellent. Thank you, Gloria. Very good. And I'm happy that you are right to your job, right? That you are right to work. Excellent. Let me go with Vanessa Leiva. Let's see, Vanessa, number two. I don't have to go meeting because I work online. That's correct. Thank you. All right, girls. These are only the guiding examples that we have. Okay. I have to stand in line outside the supermarket to buy food, right? Teníamos que hacer la línea o yo tengo que hacer la línea fuera del supermarket para poder comprar la comida, right? And I hate it. All right. I hate it. Se lo puse así separado porque así lo tira el profesor en el video. I hate it. 
Y ustedes pueden poner, si quieren, solamente and I hate it. Y lo odio. All right. Let's see. Then you go number two. I don't have to go to meetings because I work online. No tengo que ir a reuniones porque yo trabajo online. Right. So, what are you going to do next? ¿Qué es lo que quiero que ustedes hagan? Let's see. Lady, please tell me the instructions in this practice time. Practice time. Work individually. Two, based on the guiding sample provided by the teacher. Great. Four sentences. Three, use the vocabulary top eight things people hate to do. Excellent. Thank you, lady. Very good. All right, girls. Ya con esto, ya vieron los getting examples. Les voy a poner de nuevo el top eight. Por aquí. All right. Y pueden hacer sus sentences. No hay límite de sentences, pero tampoco me van a hacer una, right? <laughs> I need you to practice. Miss, ¿podría poner la página anterior? La de los guiding examples. Uh -huh. Por favor. Yes. Ya les paso a las demás al top 8. Solo para que tengan esto. Me avisa Karen para moverlo al top eight. Ya, yeah, mis gracias. Excellent, thank you. Okay, let's continue. Cher, lo puedo poner otra vez. <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> All right, excellent. Ahora sí. Let's see.
take into consideration that at the moment in which you have to practice in the platform, the person, the teacher said that you have to write down why, right? Así que si les pueden ir agregando un solo el por qué, está perfecto, right? Okay, let me know when you finish this. Finish one okay. question. Uh -huh. Tell me. Uh, um, si uso uh, tercera persona, si tendría que cambiar el verbo have a has. Mm -hmm. yes. For example, she has to work in the yard because her nail is dirty. Uh -huh. All right. Because she has to work in the yard. In the yard, uh -huh. because uh -huh. because her nails uh -huh. nails is dirty. Oh, are are dirty are dirty. Uh -huh. Excellent. Pero este qué le quería comentar. Ahí me está diciendo si la interpretamos, right? Ella tiene que trabajar en el yard en el patio porque sus uñas están. Um, and it's, entonces te debería ser she, she hasn't no o eh, puede poner esta otra mire uh, puede poner she doesn't like también pero no me está she doesn't bien. like uh -huh. she doesn't she doesn't like or she doesn't have ahí vamos a eso vamos el have nos está pidiendo que ahorita trabajemos con el have right Entonces, yeah. complicaría si yo pongo ella no tiene que trabajar en el yard, en el patio, porque tiene las uñas sucias. Porque se le ensucian las uñas. Ah, because her nails gets dirty. Ahí sí ponga gets dirty. Okay. Because her nails gets dirty. Okay. Her nails gets dirty. Ahí sí, ya estamos bien y utiliza el have, right? 
She doesn't have to work na -na 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 -na, because her nails gets dirty. Very good. Dígame su otras, lady. <laughs> Vamos a terminar de chequearlas. Let's see. <laughs> okay. You don't have to exercise because you are thin. It's... <laughs> you're thin. Because you're thin. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Yo viendo si me puedo hacer la bicheptomía. <laughs> <laughs> And next is I don't have to clean the house because I have allergic. That All is right. the correct. I have allergic. Uh, allergic. Se refiere a alguien que hace la limpieza por usted, right? Alguien que hace la... ¿A qué se refiere? I have... Porque yo tengo alergia. Ah, uh, because I have allergy. Allergy. Mm -hmm. Allergy. I have allergy. Mm -hmm. the, the, the sentence is correct because... Yes. Puede decir, because I have allergy, o también, because I'm allergic. Porque okay. soy alérgica. Es diferente, porque tengo alergias, a soy alérgica. Who is the correct? Lo que usted quiera poner. Oh. <laughs> If you, ya si ya es nato de que nació así, puede yeah. poner, because I'm allergic. I'm. Um. I'm. Um. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Only. Excellent lady. Very good job. Thank you. Let's go with Anita. Let's see Anita. Okay. Um, I, I had to exercise because I have never liked. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I don't have to exercise because I've never liked it. <laughs> okay. Este. I had to stand in line in the bank because I get uh, tired. I have to, ¿la quiere hacer en positiva o la quiere hacer en negativa? En negativa. I, ah. I get tired. Tired. Pero en ese caso me le tiene que poner, I don't have to stand in line. I get Ajá, es que es, eh, me canso, o sea, ¿cómo se dice? Porque me because canso. I get tired. Ahí está bien. Ah, because, ah, ok. Um, también I had go to meeting because it make me sleepy. <laughs> that's true, that's true. ¿Qué le puedo negar yo? Dígame, you're right. You're right, honey. Right. Okay. Excellent. And let me hear one last student. Let me see. Un estudiante más. ¿Qué quiere pasar? Mi teacher, por ejemplo, okay. number one. Ok, let's see, Gloria. Eh, Corrid, eh, que me podía corregir si sí, me equivoco. Yes, tell me. I have, I had go to eh, in the bank, in the bank, in the morning. I hate it, stand in night. All right, entonces aquí mm -hmm. podemos hacer así, mire Gloria. Uh -huh. I have to, I have to, I have to go to, go to the bank. The bank. Uy. bank. In the morning, right? Así puso. Sí. In the morning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I hate it. <laughs> I hate, I hate it. Uh -huh. Because... Mire, bank no lleva sello poniéndole. Uh -huh. okay. Because I hate it. If, if oh, no, perdón. I have to go to the bank in the morning. Punto. I hate I it. Hate, I hate it. Está in line. Ah, vaya. Entonces, en este caso, le quitamos el it y le ponemos I hate standing Está in line. In line. Uh -huh. Así sería correcto. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, honey. All right, everyone. We're going to finish in here. No se me olvida. Y voy a ver la recording de nuevo para acordarme. Solo pasaron Lady, Enanita, en Gloria, right? Entonces, mañana es el último día y vamos a aprovechar a que pasen las demás para ayudarles con esas sentences, all right? It was a pleasure to see you, girls, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Bye. teacher. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Welcome. Bye, teacher. Bye.